In mobile technology, it's the same story every single time. The media goes crazy over every hot new device, but after that review period wears off, so what is the buzz behind that new toy you might still want to buy, but that now faces new competition? The thing is, in the real world, things don't really happen that way. For most of us, aging is just as important as the moment you unbox your product for the first time. It's how that device performs after extensive use that really matters down the line. So let's do something about it. Let's have a second look at one of our favorite smartphones of 2017 and see if it's worth all the deals that are currently going live. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and this is the LG G6 After the Buzz. You know, I see the market reaction to the LG G6 and it really makes me sad. I find it so unfair that one of the best phones that I've ever used gets so little credit for all its innovation. Sure, like every product, this one is not perfect, but this device actually gets a ton of things right over time. The hardware has really aged gracefully. From my time with the prototype to when I switched to a final review unit, I've stuck to platinum variants and this would be the color that I'd still recommend most. If the finish is scratched or not, you simply can't tell, and fingerprints are not a problem. The silver finish on the sides is intact, save for a few battle scars from a drop onto rocks where I was able to prove that the Milspec 810G is no joke. I sadly had to switch to a black model recently, and I still don't know how I broke the SIM tray with the Platinum variant, and take my advice, don't force the SIM tray out if it breaks, as the unit no longer detects anything if you yank it out. The black unit is definitely a fingerprint magnet, and even if the scratches aren't easily noticeable, you can definitely see them as the back reflects light. The grippy feel I love during my review period is still here, so much so that I haven't felt the need to use a case, and that's mainly because this phone is not slippery at all. Now, while I do like the full vision IPS LCD for its color accuracy, one of my pet peeves with using this phone is how long it takes to fully light up. It's like this odd split second for it to fully adapt, and it doesn't really matter if I have automatic brightness or not. And then there's the case for how software blends with taller displays. I'm totally for the concept, and I definitely think that this is the future, but notice I'm saying future. Sadly, at the moment, applications haven't really adapted, so it just defeats the purpose to have a taller screen with minor bezels if the bezels are still going to be shown by the software. Sure, LG's user interface was built around the concept, but proprietary software does have its caveats. This continues to be one of my least favorite UIs given its aesthetics, and it seems like if it's here for the long run. I mean, it's been five months since we reviewed the G6, and only two software updates have been launched, and all these still have the phone stuck on Android 7.0. At the time of my review, my only complaints with the G6 were really solved with software updates, but well, they're still not here. My battery life complaints would have all been solved with the optimizations of Android 7.1.2, and sadly, I'm still barely scratching a day of moderate to heavy use. Something sad considering that this phone has a larger battery than most competitors in its category. And then there's the problem of the whole selling point of a taller display, which was improved one-handed use. And the software just doesn't have any reachability options like we currently see with iPhones and Galaxies. Again, all things software could have improved. So if the hardware is so good and the software is so hit or miss, you're probably asking just why I can't leave home without a G6. And the short answer is the camera. I'm going to admit something, even if I'm reviewing another phone, I always carry a G6 in my backpack. And I mean always. Like seriously, never has a phone ridiculed the point-and-shoot camera more for me than the LG G6. And it's not just because of the quality of its photos, but because of the versatility of the secondary wide-angle lens. If you're in New York City, you simply can't tell the whole story without one. And if you're in places like the Vatican Museum, for example, go wide. Avoid the need to walk back and compose your shot. 
And then LG's post-processing handles detail and streets better than I've ever seen on another smartphone. And even if colors are sometimes oversaturated, they don't really go overboard for my taste. Even in video, the secondary lens is just so convenient to avoid the natural crop that phone cameras bring. I've started vlogging more lately, and the G6 is definitely my phone of choice. Again, all because of its versatility. If anything, I'll complain about the selfie camera because it does tend to be washed out and terrible in low light, but I have to admit that the wide angle option still makes this phone compelling to use, even for selfies. Overall, the LG G6 is a phone that I find it hard not to recommend. Its hardware is great and ages very well, and its camera should seriously become an industry standard. At a time when most competitors are fumbling with zoom lenses that I honestly don't find at all convenient, I feel wide angle is the way to go. I just wish LG would do a better job with its software. Five months after its release, better software is all that stands between this phone and my personal picks for perfection. Would I still recommend the LG G6 after the buzz, even with its minor shortcomings? Absolutely. And now that you can find some crazy discounts for it all over, there is definitely no better time to buy. But hey, while you head to the store to try one, make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our channel as well for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next After the Buzz.